हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते सलाम वनकम सत श्रीकाल बॉन्जोर ओला गिडई वेलकम यू ऑल आई एम निधि प्रकाश योर होस्ट एंड माय हस्बैंड माय को होस्ट अजय इज हियर विद मी है अजय हे एवरीवन अ वेरी वार्म गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो एक्साइटेड अबाउट द सेशन टुडे बिकॉज इट इज थीम ड्राउंड म्यूजिक and piano you can see the piano notes on the artwork uh, my son plays, plays piano he has a youtube channel of his own so he's keenly excited he's probably doing this in the other room uh, along with us today so welcome again and uh, i'll be with you in the chat yeah sure so before we talk about the supplies let's see so this is today's artwork and my melody music you can call the name of the style whatever uh, type of music you want so i just kept the name melody music for this style and i dedicate this style to my son yes that our jet told that he plays piano and he loves playing piano and he has his own channel ap music and you can see that time and let's talk about the supplies so we need one micron pen i'm going to use micron 01 one pencil and the tortillon we are going to draw on a 3 and a half inch square tile you can draw a square 3 and a half inch square on your paper and we are going to draw a few smaller rectangles before we start the tile which we are going to use in our tile today and this is the chop which we need the last to the sign and these are the some tags which you can use when you are going to update upload your artwork on any social media and let's start i hope everybody is ready are you guys all ready let me thumbs up let's see who all are here with me hello pratibha hey swidel deepthi varan shikha hello linda nitika rabjot anvita nitika Nancy, Minglu, Shikha, Rebecca, awesome Arya, awesome. So, we'll start with some tangles first. So, the first tangle which we are going to draw today is the tangle name is B B. That's so. interesting name and it is a zentangle original tangle and i'm just using little thicker pen to start with this tangle so maybe i want to draw this tangle in this you know this wavy line we can draw this straight in wavy or whatever way we want it is a pretty organic in that way and we are going to draw a few bars they can be thick or thin they can go a little up or down it's not really important that they should place in the equal space they can be a little closer or further away and once we are done with our these stars then we are going to fill them with lot of rectangularish lines so these bars can be little longer can be smaller can be longer at one side and we have to fill this space very organically it's very free form tangle whatever your space allowed you and whatever you feel like just keep filling
and join these filled bars which we just which we drew in the beginning something like this this is the beautiful bb tangle and it really goes very well with our today's theme and like the theme is music so it kind of you know give a look of little bit musical uh, piano keys kind of look little bit and for the shading what i'm doing i'm just filling the bottom half of these tangles these bars lightly And there are various ways of shading whatever you feel like and maybe we can give the bottom a little bit more darker So now before I start the next tangle I really want to talk about yesterday's session it was so much fun yesterday we did colorful mandala we made this beautiful peacock mandala yesterday and although we couldn't finish the whole mandala colorful yesterday because it took two hours and we completed two of the um, peacocks and two of these petals but rest all four were like kind of the same there are six peacocks and six petals we completed two and two in last class and most of you completed and submitted your work and that was awesome beautiful i saw on facebook so i hope you all enjoyed whoever have worked with me uh, yesterday it was beautiful drawing this with all of you there are many more colorful mandalas and colorful uh, artworks are the recorded videos are already available at my patreon or as well as at the youtube oh, members so let me just show that quickly and then we'll resume this is what is available for everybody we did yesterday these are like kind of some artwork which we did in our past patreon sessions and the video of all these sessions are available at the YouTube Oak membership also. These are all past intricate mandalas, colorful watercolor, acrylic paint and different mediums. You can unlock all the videos at once together. And here are some dot mandalas also which we did in our past sessions. You can unlock the videos of these also this is one more dot mandala you can see it's the yin yang one as well as there are few this is what i just uploaded a few days ago on the patreon and the oak members this is already there one colorful zentangal inspired art and this is what I'm working on and I'm going to upload the video of this very soon in the Patreon as well as in the Oak members. Okay, here is all about those colorful mandalas. And now, I hope everybody is done with the BB tangle. So let's talk about the next tangle. So the next tangle is we have already used that tangle a lot and the tangle name is Muka. But today we are going to this we are going to use this tangle not as the main tangle or the blossom tangle. Rather, we are going to use this tangle as the kind of you know the terminal tangle or as the edge tangle. So suppose this is our some maybe the line or something. So if we want to 
finish the edge of this line with the mocha tangle so we can finish it like this so that's how we can use the mocha tangle as the finished tangle so any where we can so instead of the mocha tangles as we have used in in the flowers or in a pod or something like that here we are going to use today the mocha tangle as the terminal tangle or as in the edge tangle to give the final finishing and we can do the shading in that so it's just a different way of using the same tangle So that's how we are going to use this tangle today in a very different way like let me see here okay so here you see this is the mocha tangle otherwise these two are the mocha tangles this is unfurled that this is unfurled and i generally keep them in the blossom tangle category this mocha tangle but today it is not in the blossom tangle category or in the leaf or the vines rather it will come in this edge and the terminal tangle category we are kind of using them to give an edge to our other tangles and this bb tangle will come in the category of this border or the frame or the ribbon tangle like there are the few tangles which we use to make the borders or the frame or the ribbon so the bb tangle will also go in this category Awesome. Let's talk about the third tangle. Are you guys all done with these two tangles so far? Please send me thumbs up so that I'll start the third tangle with you guys. Please send me thumbs up. Awesome, Prapreet. Awesome, Arya. beautiful awesome beautiful and i'm pretty sure everyone whoever is here with me you guys must have clicked on the thumbs up button on the video and if not yet please click on the thumbs up button now the next tangle we have used this tangle already one more time in one of our last tile that is jetties It is again a Zen Tangle original tangle where we draw a lot of, you know, circles or orbs or balls or tipples together of various sizes. And we kind of fill leftover spaces and in this one we generally decorate our these beautiful Christmassy decoration balls or maybe some you know uh, young kid playing that those balls which make beautiful noise basically these all are the decorative orbs so first we draw these two parallel lines 
and after that inside these parallel lines we can decorate them in various style You can choose your own style of decoration if you have any in your mind. Uh, is this Micron 1 or 8? Question from Soumya. So this is the Micron 1 for the decoration. So this is Jetty's and we generally use this for a lot of, you know, all these. It is a beautiful filler tangle or decorative tangle. And sometimes we put this tangle in the drama tangle also. And it is also organic. You can, you know, spread them apart in whatever way you want. You can make them little big, small. this is jetties beautiful and now we have used a lot the triple tangle as a filler tangle right if you see here here is the triple tangle and we have used this tangle a lot in various ways today we are going to use it hanging on the threads and it can be a little longer or smaller little big i don't know maybe this tangle has any other name if you guys know any other name of this tangle then please let me know i'm just keeping it in the variation of the tipple as an edge or the terminal tangle because we are just going to use a lot of orbs and circles although they are hanging on some little tiny rope or the string so I really don't know if this tangle is already deconstructed and it has some other name so that's why I am just keeping it in the tipple. If you guys know that any other name or any other person who have deconstructed it or given it any name. So please let me know if you are watching me right now or maybe later. You can message in the video description, video uh, comments later on. And anytime if you need to ask me any questions regarding any specific video, you can ask me in the comment section of that video in YouTube. YouTube send me notification every single time when you send any comment on those videos. Hanging tipples, yes. Perfect. So, I'm just showing you this variation of the tipple. All the jatties is also, you know, a variation of tipple, but sometimes they give name, sometimes it's just a variation. So now, and we are going to use this tipple tangle in one more style today. So here I'm just showing you as a filler tangle. So suppose this is one leaf. So we generally use these big like the peas in a pod we generally call them so this is a big way but sometimes we have very tiny space and we fill it with the circle 
so you can call them the tipple is using we are using these tipple tangle as in filler so again this is tipple as in filler and sometimes we use this tangle This tangle is basically otherwise like the border tangle. Let me write down the name. So this is also the filler. So in this one, I I wrote like all these two tangles are like the fillers. The tipple as a filler and the echoism as a filler. You see here is the echoism otherwise. Like let me just take it out. So this is the echoism tangle which I am using here as a filler. Sometimes we use it as a border. Sometimes we use it as the complete, you know, the focus tangle. So it depends. Like one tangle can be used in various ways. Now the last tangle which we are going to use in our today's style is... And I am writing the name of that tangle with the pencil because... I don't know exactly crystals I don't know the name of the tangle of this one if anyone have anyone have you know constructed it earlier or not but they look like crystals so I'm just giving it the name crystals and again anyone know the real name or the deconstructor person name so then please let me know but i'm just calling it crystals because they look like crystals draw the two v shapes like this two lines which is making the v shape and then zigzag line on the top kind of the pencilish and these two line in the bottom i'm drawing it again first the base then the zigzag line on the top then join the top and draw the lines in the back bottom so they will create a crystal kind of look Yesterday, I tried a lot on social media and on various websites, uh, which I generally uh, check on and I didn't find this particular tangle. So I couldn't find the name of the person if anyone ha ever have, you know, deconstructed it, but I'm pretty sure someone must have. So I just wrote down with the pencil if I find the real name like I'll just change it so these are the crystals until then and uh, this one kind of reminds me of the kryptonite from Superman ah yeah so yeah that's it I hope everybody is done drawing all these tangles so which one is your favorite so far So there was a question earlier as to what Nidhi is using for, for shading uh, the pencil. So it was a tortillon and if you do not happen to have a tortillon that's perfectly fine. You could either use a blending stump, uh, you could just use a q-tip that we call uh, uh, earbed in India or you could even just fold a paper, a tissue paper and use it for blending. Mm -hmm. Someone is getting a good training, right guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Of course. So this is the tortillon. Uh, if you don't have the tortillon, you can use this kind of Q-tips. Oops, these kind of earbuds or the Q-tips to blend. If you don't have the Q-tip or the tortillon, you can just use, you know, in the tissue paper. Hold the tissue paper and just blend with it.
awesome okay beautiful crystals crystals and different now let's start our tile so i'm going to work on a three and a half inch square tile bb okay awesome so i would like to start with the first step of the zentangle method with the gratitude and appreciation i want to say thank you to everybody uh, whoever is here with me and joining me and I'm really happy that I have all these beautiful supplies to work on and I have a company of my husband who is helping me in the technical stuff and all these um, background set up in all these sessions so you guys can also um, feel whatever you feel good about you can just feel in your mind or maybe you can say aloud or write down or whatever and with the happy big heart let's start our work so in this particular tile we are not going to make any corner dots and the borders rather we are going to start with the string first so for the string basically our drawing in this style so we are going to draw a beautiful musical note you know you know the musical symbol and so for that here in the right hand side uh, here in the left side of the tile please draw this straight line with the pencil with very light hand so after drawing this you can make it little double and as I told you we are going to give the edge like muka we are going to give an edge to this so the musical note that we are drawing today does anybody know what we call it in sheet music let's see if anyone writes it so Give the edge as in terminal like kind of the mocha to this line. And we are drawing with the pencil. So no worries guys. Today you can use the eraser in this one. Because our main focus is in the drawing. So it is mostly like if you don't have the straight line or something you want to fix. You can erase and fix. No worries. Did anyone give the answer Ajay? Um, not yet. I'm waiting I guess. Okay. So now from here, I'm going. So what was the question, Ajay? Uh, so the musical note that you're drawing, what is it called? Oh, uh, what what's is the it name called? for the technical name for that? No. Okay, let's see if anyone knows what is the technical name of this symbol which we are drawing right now. And then here we are going to draw this tiny loop P kind of the shape the alphabet P and it is, it is kind of touching to the top treble clef I'm headed road yep that's exactly right it's called a treble clef yes and then it will go round here take your time start with this second line make the tiny P shape and then this circle and it's ending here and with the second one again we are going to make this double line here with the P You can make it a little wavy, curvy, it depends how you want to make the circle looking. Ok, 
Okay, let's let's kind of wait about a minute or so. Uh, because, uh, sure. Everybody, I think, needs to be slow uh, making the triple clef. Sure. And you see, I'm also using here a little eraser, and maybe I can make this a little smaller here. Let this be a little bit more smaller. I can make this cut a line easily. You can erase and fix this triple clef symbol, or this musical note symbol, which we are going to draw right now. Is everybody done drawing this symbol? I hope everybody is done drawing the symbol. Please write down in the chat when you guys are done drawing the symbol. Good evening, Shikha. Awesome, Vijaya. Awesome, Adashree. After that, the, our this double line the standing line we are going to draw one more depth line kind of one more dimension to it you see this is giving little so like i told you earlier like this whole weekend is a lot of drawing we are going to do Yesterday we drew six peacocks and day before that we drew a lot of these tulip flowers. So this whole week is our main focus is on the a lot of drawing part. After that I'm going to draw one more layer on this tree here. One is going this side here. These are the little extensions to our this triple cleft to make it, you know, make it more prettier. Just a few more echo lines or the aura lines. Maybe I want to move my this. I have this twice now because I'm working with the pencil. Make this a little longer. It until you feel like it's looking beautiful to you and here also I'm giving one or a line to it I'm kind of done and now I'm tracing this hole with the pen and I'm here using 03 pen to trace all these lines Take your time, it's the symbol until you feel like. Generally in our Zentangle Art session, we don't use eraser at all. But sometimes when we are drawing some different kind of, we are incorporating some different kind of symbols with our this non-representational art. We are adding some representational thing. So okay to use the razor the 
this place slowly I don't know whether you guys can hear it or not dog is sleeping nicely here as if i'm singing you know the lullaby for him seriously sometimes yeah. i feel like that yeah. and you know what's funny he has decided to sleep over the wire of my microphone so every time i have to talk i have to kind of bend down uh, over him and then talk hey we are done find this beautiful symbol want you can erase all these extra lines so that it looks here although we are going to use our graphite pencil later to for you know the shading all, on all these areas but let's make it here right now okay so this is our symbol musical symbol triple clef and we ended it with this beautiful mocha edging and now again as if you want you can use the pencil or if you want you can use directly the pen it's your choice i'm using pen here if you want you can use the pencil okay so the next step is draw this beautiful scandish kind of the thing here then it's ending with the mocha this is a one line it will go like this So if you want you can first use pencil to draw this line and then pencil to draw like this was this is the line which where we are going to do this is one decoration so it would be easier first to draw this as kind of uh, which is going along with the shape of this triple clef and going as the base and again we are going to edge these two with like the mocha edging at both side one i already drew with the pen here i drew it with the pencil so now you can decide whatever way you feel like now i'm going to continue to the other side I'm drawing this double line and now after that I will finish this with the mocha here. There you go. So if you want you can use pencil to give the direction, decide the direction first and then Draw this wavy line alongside with this musical symbol and finish both these line with the mocha edges. Hey, shall I go ahead or do you guys want me to wait? Uh, I think let's wait a little bit. Uh, this one looked a little complex. And everybody on the uh, video with us today, uh, we have about 66 people watching, around 17 or I guess, uh, just 35 likes. So it would immensely help if you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, that helps us rank the channel as well. Thank you so much. I'm waiting, Swedel. Okay, write down everyone. Is it tough to draw this one? Do you guys want me to draw it quickly again or do you think you are done? You got it right? 
or and there is you know the DVR is on you can rewind the video or maybe go back and see the steps again if you feel like right awesome done awesome beautiful it's like it's easy peasy for everyone now we are going to draw this lots of crystals on the top of this mocha here on this edge and this is absolutely free flow you can draw as many mukas as you want here as many i'm sorry as many crystals as you want You know the steps for the crystals, right? We can draw some crystals are going behind. Like this. You can grow these. What did you call them, Ajay? The movie name and that? Uh, it it's like the kryptonite in the uh, in the Superman movies. Uh, that's the planet that he's from. Oh, it's a nice name, kryptonite. Oh, we did these kryptonites, crystals, and the triple clef symbol and these mochas so far. I hope you guys are finding it easy. And now we are going to draw a few, you know, those little lines we generally see in the note sheets. Good evening, Seema. So somewhere here in the, you know, in the little below the center, we are going to draw this one first take a look again if you want you can draw this with the pencil first after this we are going to draw a few lines which is crossing along and going all the way to the top with little wave and we are going to stop where our Again, feel free to use your graphite pencil to draw these lines. And feel free to let these lines flow wherever they want to go. I'm here using 03 pen right now and they are kind of you know going anywhere and before we start working on our other tangles first let's complete our this tangle I'm here using my micron 01 pen and you see we used i showed you the tipple as the filler so here in this filler i'm going to draw this tipple
these beautiful tiny orbs as the filler and wherever we made that third dimension we are going to draw these beautiful circles or tipples And same thing I uh, we did you know that the echoism we did where is that this one the echoism filler we are going to fill this whole uh, this baseline with this echoism so please look carefully A very tiny space so that's why we are just using it as a filler not as a main focus tangle or the border tangle Nithi, let's fade a bit after uh, uh, this part is over. Okay, Ajay. I'm waiting as you suggested. So, I'm waiting for everybody to complete till this level. You can just see in the chat if you're done with be a thumbs up or and just say done. Today's style is little different than our regular Zentangle tile because it is not 100% non-representational because we use one, our uh, symbol of the music and we that's the base of the theme because this is a melody music tile today. So I hope you guys finding it easy to draw with the instructions. Awesome. Beautiful. After this, I'm going to draw this. These mukas we have given one this outer layer. So like in this mukas, if we want, we can add outer layer here and we can give a little depth. This is what we are doing actually. So we are using a very beautiful variation of the mukas today. And the same thing I'm going to do to this side. These are the very tiny variations or the enhancements, but you know, they make the whole tile so beautiful and they bring everything together. Awesome. So we are done with the tipple and the echoism as the filler. 
as well as edging with the mukas and the crystals and now it's the time to draw the BB tangle. So this is the tangle which we are going to draw right now over here. So if you want let me first draw the line. It's going to start like this where we want to draw this BB tangle. So I'm using little thicker tip pen to draw all the big blocks like the building blocks of this tangle. Pretty organic tangle you can draw whatever way you want. You have seen this one. We are going to draw this BB tangle here. Now I am grabbing my other pen, my Micron 01. To be very uneven don't give them in one up and down thing okay try to avoid like in the one style in between like try to get different ways different space like it has to be very very random This is the BB tangle and we are going to draw this BB tangle one more time all the way to the base. Here it will go all the way crossing from one line to other. It can be little up and down or maybe little wavy it depends on your mood how you want to draw this. That's the fun of the pattern drawing that everybody is drawing together everybody is taking the same instructions still when we are going to see the final tile they all look beautiful different individual I'm done drawing the base blocks now after that I'm going to fill this space with the 01 pen and now I'm waiting for everybody to write down in the chat send me thumbs up are done till this level are you guys all done drawing this BB tangle on the top and all set for the base And let's see who all is drawing along with me. You can write down one or two as always. Let's see, write down one if you are drawing along with me. Write down two if you are just enjoying watching the channel. Awesome Sweden. Awesome Kamala. Nice Rashmi, Rabjot. Beautiful Seema. Thank you Claudia, thank you all in one zone.
थैंक यू लिंडा विपकर थैंक यू एम एच हेडेड ऑसम थैंक यू प्रपीत जय भारती थैंक्स एवरीबडी एंड नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट मेकिंग दीज आवर ब्लॉक्स सराउंडेड बाय दीज पिलर फिलिंग पिलर्स they can be very thin they can be tall they can be wider that's the fun keep drawing uh, it's like the keys from a vintage old piano from the 1980s really ajay do they have that kind of <laughs> well not really but a piano from 1980s or 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 maybe even sooner you know uh, okay. they're kind of broken and the keys are uneven and all over the oh. place so guys just take a look guys quickly like here in this area where this uh, string is touching so i actually want to give double edge to this and then i am going to draw this so please make sure like if this is coming and if you want to give this double edge so save this part for the double edge go this is the beautiful bb tangle this tangle really goes very well with the theme so now it's the time to draw jetties like lot of these beautiful decorative balls let's create some drama in this our tile so you see here where the space is so draw beautiful tiny orbs maybe 1 2 3 as many as you want whatever the space allows in this left over space So all in one zone she says your ring uh, your ring looks like the tangle bb <laughs> Really Yesterday I did it and it broke. are the beautiful jetties and i'm going to uh, 
make double lines first in these one and then I'm going to put some jetties also here. Where these loops are ending, just I'm giving this little double edge. As usual, I'm just turning the style sideways so that I can work on these double edges and I can use the same this little filling in these tiny double edges. the circles slowly one circle or one line at a time don't hurry up don't give these stipples an edge kind of like try to touch the lines nicely If you guys want to message me about any specific video then I would encourage you highly to message me in the comment section of that video so that it would make sense because we are talking about that specific video and if you want to talk me about as general asking about any supplies you can ask me again in the video of that the supplies you are talking about or maybe in the Facebook in the uh, that particular post or in any post I'll get notification from the Facebook and the, from the YouTube and I'll reply you back. After this, we are going to make few jetties here sitting on these strings. You see, let me draw. Absolutely your choice, how many, how big you want. I'm giving little rounding to them and filling in these processes and giving rounding to these corners. After that, I'm going to decorate them. Give them some drama. Whatever type of decoration you want to do. jetties you see they both are pretty much similar and we are going to do the same thing in this bottom one Decoration is what makes these 
to the full right here you have the bigger circle maybe you can draw these double lines maybe you can draw these straight lines tiny looking style it's your choice how you want to draw that these are the jetties and now is everybody done till here shall i move ahead or do you guys want me to wait thank you chinki advani thank you elizma bring awesome prapit thank you swedel now in this top part here we are going to draw again few lines so please look carefully how these beautiful musical waves are going they are starting from this side of the tile and if you move forward in the air like this so they are going starting from this side of the tile and going out this side starting from this side and going to the other side and i'm going to draw one more that's it and in these lines also we are going to draw few jetties in between anywhere randomly spaced decoration lines Just making these lines little. I'm using zero three pen over them. The line is way too thin, so a little thicker pen, or maybe you can use the same pen twice to give these lines little. And same I'm going to do, you know, tracing over these lines. beautiful so just give them a little body with little double thickness line maybe if you want 
you can give a little body to your this symbol before we give them shading or anything at some of the lines if not all okay now it's the time to draw these hanging tipples hanging tipples are kind of as i told you they are kind of the edge or the terminal angles or maybe as you can put them as the filler wherever you feel like so seema wants to know where can we use these tiles Nidhi? do you have any suggestions Uh, Seema, you can uh, use them as the greeting card. That's the most efficient way. People make the mobiles or hang them. People frame them and stick them on the cardstock and make the, uh, you know, make a, use it as use them as the greeting card or maybe make a mosaic of them. That's why we call them the tile because uh, they can be set up in a beautiful mosaics and they can be framed or hanged or you know display on the wall. So that's there are many many various ways of it uh, depends on your imagination how you, how you want to use them so let me just complete this hanging thing and then i'll grab one greeting card like how we used them earlier can draw them tiny big small very random edging wherever you feel like you can just draw them and inside of them we are going to fill make a circle and leave some spot and fill it make a circle leave some spot and fill it so leave this sparkle spot if you have the white jelly roll pen you can make that spot later if you want or uh, because we are working on the white tile so that's the advantage that we can leave that spot if we are working on the brown tile then we have to use either the white pencil or the white jelly roll pen to make these highlights. But in this white tile, we have this beautiful advantage. First make this double line, then make a tiny circle also anywhere and then fill the rest of the area. It looks like some eyes, really. A lot of eyes are hanging. To me it looks like, you know, the uh, lullaby songs and in all that, like the baby toys which make beautiful noise, rattle kind of thing. or the mobile hanging on the uh, cot you can make them as many and and any other place if you want for me i'm kind of just stopping here maybe just one more here yay 
We are done with the drawing and now it's the time for the shading. I'm waiting for everybody to catch up till here and tell me that you guys are done so that we all can start shading now. And before shading, I would like to show you this is the shading version which we are going to do right now. But here is one other version of this colored one. So if you want, you can add colors and you can make it the way you want or you can make it in the classic style and let's start the shading together i would like to add you know one or two of these hanging uh, tipple here also maybe just three Shall I draw one more or let it? Shall I leave it? It's okay. Now, time for shading. Is everybody done? Awesome. Is it is the video blurry for everybody or is this just for the this Ming and Lu person? Uh, Ming Lu, make sure that your video setting is set to 720 or 1080p. So when you tap on your video, you will see a gear icon for video settings. Uh, just go there make sure that you are setting it to high quality 720p or 1080p it'll be fine it is it is perfectly fine from our side awesome thank you so first i'm shading in these our edging mukas you see in all these three And in this mukas, I just lay down the graphite and I leave little edge on the corner as you can see me and then I used my tortion to lay down graphite here like this. After this, I'm giving little shading to our these little sides, especially which is kind of going beneath. Like this, like over and under technique. And wherever these edges are, lightly
okay beautiful and if any place you want to use your eraser and if you want to make it brighter or cleaner you can use eraser make your tile neat and clean from that point now i'm working on these crystals keep clicking from the base of these crystals Uh, we have a request if you could show the colored version yes here is the colored version and i'm working on the classic version Mostly we always do, we always just use graphite pencil and black marker pen and tortillon in the Zentangle tile, the Zentangle original tile. Sometimes just we really want to put colors and we can call them Zentangle inspired art and we can make them, why not? Now I am laying down little graphite alongside with this whole left awesome good leaf I'm pretty sure you have shared it if not then please to share I would love to see Now I'm working on these beautiful BB tangle which we did and in this BB tangle what I'm doing I'm just filling you know this whole base area here below the BB tangle
reading a lot of difference in the whole file Now I'm working in this space baby tangle. I'm going to give a little shading in this half. Now it's time to look where else we need some more value, some more shading, or if any fixing required. What do you see guys? Do you see any place where we can do any fixing or anything? using my white jelly roll pen today this is the white jelly roll pen and let me pick out some writing and let it flow nicely Just going to make two dots. You see here. Purple dot. That's it. How do you feel about it? This is the colored version. And this is the black and white version. And we are done with the drawing and the shading. And now it's the time for the initial and sign. For my initial and sign, I have made my chop like this. With my initials, Nidhi Prakash. Can choose the place wherever you feel like the tile. So, this is my initials, and I'm going to give a little shading to this part here and here in the base. the back let's tangle in what 
what is today's day fourth of july yay fourth of july guys This is YouTube Live. You can write down Nidhi Prakash Arts and all the tags, whatever you feel like. And now again, we always finish it with the last appreciate again. You can hold your tile in your hand. And I really want to say Thank you to all of you who joined me today and I want to appreciate myself also patting my shoulder that we did awesome job today and we drew this beautiful melody music tile all together. I hope you all find it easy, all the instructions easy and you enjoyed drawing all these tangles with me. So I'm going to read the chat later after the session and want to see who likes which tangle more and if you want to write down anything do you find it easy drawing this style what do you say about the difficulty level of this style let me see I'm looking at the chat please everyone write down do you think it's very easy or it is little difficult or the moderate in the difficulty level what do you feel about this style and it's very easy awesome and let me show you do you want to see our next session just, work just card, just oh yes I'm sorry let me show you the card how you can use it let me bring it oops and then I'll show you the so these are the cards which you can make like this is the card which we made with the six inch tile you see this is a six inch tile this is the six inch tile this is the smaller tile so you can make these all cards with these like this is the smaller tile this is again the smaller tile so you can make the cards with you know these tiny tiles or with this bigger tiles you can make use your uh, beautiful these kind of tapes washi tapes or colored cardstock paper and you can stick them and then you can make these beautiful greeting cards All the videos of these are available in daily dose of art playlist and let me show you our next week's artwork if you want to see quickly these are the few mandalas which we are going to draw in our saturday sessions these three are our next three mandalas of this month july month this is the colored version these are the Zen Doodle art which we are going to do on Fridays in the Hindi channel, in the Hindi session, on the Fridays. And here are, we are going to draw these beautiful tiles in our next Sunday sessions. These are the Zen Tangle tiles. Okay, so these are our upcoming session artworks and... That's it for now today. Time to say goodbye and see you guys next week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in all three sessions. And I've showed you all the artwork which we are going to do. Okay, bye. Don't forget to share your work. You can't wait your hooked on mandalas. Okay, Linda. And I'm working on my second book. Uh, this is the first book. And now I'm working on the second book and I'm very happy for this book and I want to say thank you to everybody who have purchased and sharing their work with me and you guys are doing awesome. Someone is using color pencils, someone is using marker pens and even the brush marker pens. 
So this is really awesome to see the artwork, beautiful bright colors and the one mandala and people are using different, different their imagination and different outcomes. So that's the fun watching all these beautiful mandalas. So thank you for this uh, book, whoever have purchased it and using it. And now I'm working on the second book now. So let's see how much time it takes. Okay, bye bye. See you next week.